Hello everyone, in this video I am presenting the paper analysis of paper 2 and I am also going to discuss how to manage time while writing your paper 2 exam. Actually what I have done is I have downloaded one document from this website of graduate primary school teachers recruitment government of Karnataka. In that document all the syllabus is given for math and science and also model paper is given. So what I have done is I have analyzed that model paper both for physics, chemistry and biology students. Based on that I have prepared one strategy so as to how to write your exam, how you can save time and uh, how you can be stress free and finish your exam while in time. So according to that model paper first uh, they are telling that maximum marks for the question paper are 150 marks and the time they are giving are 3 hours. Okay. The timing they have told that it is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now 3 hours have 180 minutes right and you have 150 marks. Keeping these two things in mind I have made one simple strategy. First in your question paper you will have 50 questions carrying one mark each. Then there will be 8 questions each carrying 2 marks. Okay, So total will be 16 marks questions. Then it will be followed by 24 questions. Each question will carry 3 marks. So your total marks for this questions will be 72 marks. And at the last there are 3 questions which are 4 marks questions. Each question will carry 4 marks. So total marks allotted for these 3 questions are 12. Okay. So I have made a simple strategy. I believe that if you follow my strategy while writing the examination you will get super success okay so before telling this strategy i would like to tell you some few simple points okay which we used to follow in our childhood also see wake up early in the morning first you have a sound sleep before that okay have a sound sleep minimum of six hours you have to sleep before the exam then wake up early in the morning then you pray to god okay after that uh, you can also do some meditation then have some healthy stuff of breakfast. Then peacefully with peaceful mind go to the exam center before one and a half hour. Okay. At least before one hour. I always follow this plan. Before the exam I make sure that I am at the examination hall at least before one hour. Okay. Because we don't know right. We don't know where is our room. Where will be our bench and that center will also be new for us many times. Okay, so keeping all this in consideration, try to be in your examination center before one hour. Then get settled in your place. Okay, after you get settled in your place, do some meditation for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Then once you get the question paper, first you go through that question paper. But you don't see the entire of question paper. What you have to go through? You have to go through only one mark questions. Take a good 5 minutes to go through these 50 questions. Okay, there are 50 questions, right? So you go through them fast, fast. Okay, you will get confidence. If you know many of the answers, you will get confidence. If you don't know many of the answers, don't worry. First, you attempt the questions which you already know. Okay, and then again go for the second round. First round, you attempt all the questions which you already know. Then again in second round, you also attempt those questions which you are like some 50... 50% chances are there you are not sure about them then you attend those type of questions then again see you have to take 50 minutes to attend these 50 questions of one mark again after second round if time is remaining then again go for third round you don't have any negative marking so I would give you this idea don't leave any answer either it is one mark two mark three mark or four mark don't leave any answer because you are going to get marks if your answer is right Okay, but you are not going to get any negative marks if your answer is wrong. So take these 50 minutes and attend all these questions of one mark. Then go to the next section of two marks questions. Here also take 5 minutes and go through all the 8 questions. If you are taking less time than 5 minutes then it is well and good. You can utilize that time later on also. Okay, there is no hard and fast rule that you have to utilize 5 minutes. I am being little lenient here. Later on you can use the time. If your time is remaining you can use the time for revision. Okay. Then after that you attend all these 8 questions. You make sure that you attend first those questions which you know. 
first you write the heading then you write the question number then you write the answer first you write those answers which you know perfectly okay then you write those answers also which you do not know perfectly you also attend those answers which you are guessing okay you just at that instance only there are some uh, situations where uh, at that instance only you will get ideas right so maybe you have attended some video or maybe you have read it somewhere or maybe you have heard it somewhere so those ideas click at that time no you attend those questions with those ideas also okay then go for next questions see for these eight uh, questions no which are two marks each you should use 16 minutes you should finish these questions in 16 minutes each question i am giving 2 minutes okay you take 2 minutes for each question one mark question no i am giving 1 minute for each question but sometimes when you know the answer no you will not take half a minute also at that time you will finish before time so you can utilize this time also later on in descriptive answers okay your descriptive answers are going to take more time than this one mark questions now again move to the next section here you have 24 questions each of 3 mark okay here i am giving you 3 minutes for each question here also first you take 5 minutes you go through all those 24 questions then you if you want you can tick also simple small tick with a pencil you can make on the question paper and then you come back and you attend only those questions first which you are in perfect in okay which you know very well then other questions which you are not having much idea on no then put those in last put them in end okay so these 24 questions for each question you can take 3 minutes so you will have 72 minutes to attend these 24 questions that is 1 hour 12 minutes okay with 5 minutes extra for okay with 5 minutes extra for reading those questions then come to the last section you have three questions for four marks each here i am giving you 12 minutes for those three questions means three minutes for each question okay here also i am giving 5 minutes which is very much here actually you have only three questions to go through right those 5 minutes maybe you can use in writing only so you can take 17 minutes to attend these questions you attend all three questions don't leave any question okay now how you are going to write the descriptive paper one mark question though it is not a problem now other descriptive paper what you are going to do for two marks question make sure that your answer will have at least two points okay those two points should not be waste points those two points should be very important points you what you say they should contain the keyword okay see teachers while correcting now they will have answer sheets they will have few keywords with them they will try to match those keywords with your answer sheets so if you have those keywords in your answer then you will get full marks it is like that okay so what you do you recall all the keywords which belong to that particular question you try to include those keywords if you are not recalling then you can write in your own words that is our uh, last option right for that we don't know we are, it's like chalta hai either we get marks or no it's like that but which answers you know for them try to put them in a right manner using the keywords okay for two mark questions at least two points you should write it's it's not like you will fill half page you will get marks it's not like that two marks two points the right points will be there you will get two marks you write half a page but not even one important point is there they will give you zero it's like that okay maybe if that the correction guy no if he is having uh, that evaluator if he is having some courtesy that you have written so much maybe he will give half mark he or she maybe they will give you half mark okay not more than that you will get if you will not write any keywords okay so don't just simply fill ramayana don't do that if you know you try to put it in points okay next for three marks obviously you should write three points at least minimum three points should be there and for four marks questions you should answer them with four points at least okay more points well and good but those first two four points should be the actual answer of the question okay now coming back to our time management so so a short summary i will give first first 50 marks are for one mark questions that is 50 questions will be there you will take 5 minutes to read that before starting after reading then again you will take two through three rounds and you will fill all those one mark questions you will take then coming to descriptive paper two mark questions eight questions will be there you can take 5 minutes to read and then you take a 
2 minutes for each question to answer if you are not utilizing that 5 minutes then you can use that 5 minutes while writing the descriptive paper then coming to 3 mark questions there are 24 questions you take 3 minutes for each question okay some answers will be there which are easy maybe you will not take 3 minutes for that some answers will be there which will be tough maybe you will need 4 to 5 minutes there okay so you will have to adjust it up and down but totally overall at least you have to finish this section within 80 minutes within 1 hour 20 minutes okay now the final thing the big big questions don't worry about the big questions it is my experience the big questions are always easier because you have much scope to write about them right so you take 12 minutes and 5 minutes either you take in writing or reading before writing or revising after writing okay it's upon you so after you have done all this you will have at least 10 minutes if you follow this time okay if you finish paper within time you will have at least 10 minutes maybe you have left some answer you are not getting idea that answer you can write now maybe you want to re revise something you are not sure about some answers you can revise them it's better that you turn pages you turn pages at least two times from first to last okay this is my experience then i am sure that many of the mistakes will be caught by you only so you will correct those mistakes and you will save your marks okay so this is a table i have made uh, by seeing that model question paper one mark questions from physics they are giving nine questions now this table is belonging to these people maths and science people okay so physics one mark questions there are nine questions chemistry there are five questions biology there are six questions and maths there are 21 questions one mark questions and rest of questions are asked from this teaching field you must have read all this in bed i suppose so so many questions are allotted like this okay now total marks will be 50 in the second section the two mark question sections where eight marks are there here only maths questions are there physics chemistry biology they have not asked in the model paper okay so eight questions all belonging from maths then again coming to three mark questions they have asked five questions from physics three questions from chemistry four questions from biology and 12 questions from mathematics okay so total 24 questions are there now coming to this four mark questions one they have asked from physics one chemistry and one biology there is no maths question here okay so these will be your total number of questions with 150 marks now coming to biological sciences they also have distributed in the same manner like for the physics and maths people only and you also please follow the same time management as i told just now okay but when i saw the model question paper there is slight difference the one mark questions they have mentioned that it has 50 questions are there but they have given only 46 questions nevertheless maybe in exam they will give you 50 only maybe in the model paper they have given 46 so here there is difference in physics they have asked 24 questions in chemistry they have asked 8 questions and in biology they have asked 14 questions so they are giving much focus on physics here for biological science people okay then two mark questions two questions are from physics one question from chemistry two question from biology and three questions from maths so total will be eight questions then three mark questions how they have asked from physics they have asked five questions from chemistry they have asked four questions from biology they have asked 10 questions from maths they have asked five questions so these are also 24 questions now four mark questions here also they have not asked any question from maths physics one question chemistry one question biology one question total will be three questions okay so this is how i have analyzed your paper and this is how i find it easy to manage the time okay friends so please try to follow see it's no hard and fast rule that you have to follow what i have told i am just giving you an idea okay you can make your own ideas you can plan your exam by your own that will be best thing actually but i am just giving you some suggestions and advices which may help you okay so all the best for your exam please do let me know how your exam went after the exam okay write to me in the comment section write to me in telegram you can also mail me my mail is also given 
i hope all of you will write your exam in the best manner and you all will get success with flying colors okay thank you bye all the best